What's going on guys? In this video, I want to ask you all one simple question. And that is, what are your strength goals? Because here's the deal. I want you to help me help you. So let me repeat that. Help me help you. That's right. Tell me what your strength goals are and I will make videos about those topics. So do you want a stronger bench press? Do you want a 4 or 5 bench? A uh, 4 or 5 squat? Do you want a 600 pound deadlift? What are your strength goals? I want to know. The comments that receive the most likes, I will make videos about that. Detailed tutorials with visual explanations shown from the gym. So I will use gym footage, all that good stuff, similar to what you saw in my rack pull overloading video. And that's going to be the end of the discussion. So what are your strength goals? Tell me down below in the comment section. I need your input here and I'll help you out because I feel that recently I've just been talking about rack pulls and I think it's time for a break. So give me some video suggestions. Give me some video topics because in 2017, I want you guys to keep making those gains and I know for myself I just finished reaching that 225 overhead press and I asked you what do you think I should get and you gave me some suggestions so now I'm, I'm asking you what are your goals you help me out and I'm gonna help you out so tell me what those strength goals are and I'll make videos about it and speaking about uh, my strength goals I want to just like you know you can close the video now but I want to give you a quick update before I demonstrate some uh, training footage which is the fact that I've decided what I'll be doing with my strength all right, so I had a lot of different options. I was debating between a push press, a landmine press, one arm dumbbell press, and the bench press. And the most popular vote was the bench press. And after thinking it through, like, man, you guys are totally right. I should focus on getting a bigger bench. So what I'm going to try to do in 2017 is reach a 365 close grip bench press. I know somebody said 405, but keep in mind, I'm talking about the close grip here. I want shoulder width apart, close grip bench. It might be touch and go, it might be pause, I don't know. But I want to do that in 2017. And I think I have the genetics to get that done. So to get that done, I'm basically going to be doing a lot of close conventional bands, a lot of pin presses off low heights, uh, possibly some board presses, lots of dumbbell presses, weighted dips. So I'm also going to kill two birds with one stone and a shitload of extensions and direct tricep work. So this bulk, you might actually see me with 17 inch arms for once. So that's going to be the goal. Try to get some bigger arms, which have been lagging for the longest time. Try to get a bigger bench and that's about it. So thanks for your suggestions. And in terms of low body, I'm debating between a 700 pound, like I'm thinking about a 700 pound deadlift off the floor. Behind the back, beltless at around 200 pounds or so, because that's how much I'm going to weigh by the end of this bulk. So a 200 pound body weight, beltless, 700 pound deadlift. I'm debating between that and maybe like a rack pull record, because I want to also hit that 1200 pound rack pull. I also want to hit 800 pounds uh, below the knee at, in the pin height, and we'll see how it goes. But that's kind of what I'll be doing. And for that, I'll be doing lots of uh, block pulls. So two, four, six inch heights, uh, speed deadlifts behind the back, and lots of different rack pull variations. So that's my goals for 2017. So that's what I'll be doing. And maybe I'll even throw in some weighted pull-ups in there or dumbbell row. Be either weighted pull-up or dumbbell row. So those are my goals. I told you what I want. Now I want to know from you, what are your strength goals? Tell me down below the most popular comments or the most interesting comments or receive a detailed video explaining how to get that done. So that's it for today. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys next time.